Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Oh, jeez. Tell me what happened <laughs> yesterday. I heard that you were there since 8 a.m. Molly. Hi. Oh, this is for you. Oh, my God. I. Okay. <laughs> Hey. You guys are so sketchy. <laughs> the card said, find your ride. I looked around, the entire camera crew was in a 12 or 16 passenger van. This is so weird, how do you know where I live? It was a little unnerving. Right. They made me go back and change into dark clothing and outdoor gear. Any ideas? Zero ideas. Honestly, I didn't know if we were in New Jersey, New York, like where the hell we were. I mean, if this is about pumpkin carving, then I need to pick my perfect pumpkin. This one's pretty nice. Ugh. How much do you think this weighs? Hello. I don't have any money. <laughs> Can someone pay? <laughs> Turns out the pumpkin patch was just a rest stop. All right, so we're not doing that. We're not doing that, so it's not a pumpkin carving video. So this is for you. Oh. Put this on. You guys are sketchy as f Can right. I still like eat popcorn though with my thing on? Yes. What's it called? Uh, Zesty Parmesan Ranch. Zesty Parmesan Ranch. Let me know how you're doing. Can I get a couple grapes actually? Yep. That's some weird ass popcorn. <laughs> What do you think about this terrain, Molly? This seems dangerous. Thanks. Yeah. You're mine. Oh, guys! Okay. <laughs> Take off your blindfold. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> okay. I took the blindfold off and I was about four feet away from two ginormous ostriches. Emu! Or ostrich! I still don't know what the difference is. I should have looked it up. You guys, I haven't seen the light in like an hour. I can barely see right now. Hey Molly, I'm Todd. You're not my husband. Nope. <laughs> Todd, Roaming Acres, how are you? This episode is all about the ostrich egg. Those are big. Yep. I was given a lot of presents. Oh boy. A bunch of clues. <laughs> and taken on a wacky scavenger hunt. <laughs> to learn everything there is to know about. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ostrich eggs. What? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't feel like I learned a lot about ostrich eggs while I was there. More just like ostriches have eggs. It's about 24 chicken eggs, so one full ostrich egg. And does it taste similar? I think it's really fluffy. That's my opinion. So it's texturally kind of different, but taste-wise? Chicken egg. Chicken egg. Mm -hmm. About a year old, they're fully grown, and she'll lay an egg every second to third day. We set them in the incubator, and normally 42 days later, we'll start to have chicks. But at any given point, you have like 350 birds? Mm -hmm. Correct. OK. Where do we go now? So I'm not going to let you go in with Rojo, but I have some younger guys that you could do some work with. Is Rojo pretty mean? He is. OK. We're pretty much out of season, but how he's flapping his wings there, he's not the happiest kind of guy. You know, I could take you a bucket and you could feed some animals. OK, no meanies. If we walk over here to where we feed them, um, they might come over. <laughs> These are the nice guys? These are the nice guys. <gasps> Look at them run. <laughs> so these guys here are anywhere between four to six months. <laughs> and do they like nip at you? Or? Yeah, what they'll do is they'll, the they'll, just, they'll just come and peck. Uh, let's see where if I could get a bucket. Todd just straight up abandoned us. So now it's just me and the Ostrai? 
Ostriches? Ostriches? <laughs> just me and the ostriches just running back and forth like crazy people. Eh, they can throw a little more, that's good. And then. Come on, boys and girls. They're very curious. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God. Dang, they are fast. I've been told that they can run up to 45 miles an hour. It's like a car. <laughs> oh my God. Never thought I'd wake up and meet 300 ostrich today. The new day. Todd made me feel like everything was gonna be okay. It felt like I was safe. Ah! Oh my God, they're running away from me. <laughs> Here they come. Hey guys. Look at all that yummy feed. Ugh. So where are the rest of the animals on the farm? What's his name? We call him Skippy after my dad. Um, how old's Skippy? <laughs> my dad's 75. Oh, how old's this Skippy? Oh, him? Skippy! Um, he's 13. Look, he's coming. Do you think he's pissed right now? Oh, he's pooping. Hey, pigs! Come on, pigs! This is the way the animals should be raised. Outside, foraging. We don't put them in barns. Hey, pigs! They're coming. <laughs> there you go. Come on, pigs! Hey, pigs! Oh, my God. That's such a good call. That's what I'm going to call tuna from now on. Todd, thank you so much for letting me spend the day at Roaming Acres Farm. Well, I appreciate you coming up, and I have something for you. A blown ostrich egg? Oh my god. <laughs> Number three. Do I have to crack this? This beautiful egg. You want me to crack this egg? All right. Oh my god. <laughs> Exit the farm. Good pun, Corey. <laughs> Okay, I guess we gotta exit the farm. Bye, Todd. Come back anytime. Thank you. At the end of the farm shoot, I didn't exactly know what I was gonna get into, but I was pretty sure that I'd be cooking with ostrich eggs the next day. I haven't had breakfast yet. Hi, Molly. Oh, good morning. Molly Boss. Oh, that's a bigger box than I'm used to. Marox, do you know what's under there? Just tell me it's not a dead ostrich. It's not a dead ostrich. You guys are all looking at me with crazy eyes. I'm freaking out. OK. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, excuse me. This is a big carton of ostrich eggs. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so heavy. Are those ostrich eggs? Yeah. Look at this carton. Oh my god, please can I have that beverage? Is there um, alcohol in it? Well, yeah, there's a little bit of alcohol in it. Usually but, uh, I like to start my show with a cocktail. Every day. Spicy grapefruit shandy. Little brunch bev. Oh, delicious. There's beer in that. Yeah, a little bit. What would you do with 12 ostrich eggs? Yeah. Well, actually, the... Out. Oh. Fry an egg. No problem. Just need to find like the world's largest skillet. What about a paella pan? What is that, 16 or 18 inches? Are you sure that's big enough? <laughs> Based on cracking this yesterday, I cracked an empty ostrich egg and it wasn't easy. Maybe not on glass. Okay. Oh, it's a really thick membrane. <laughs> oh my god. You guys, I'm making family meal. We're all sharing one egg. What do you have? Duck confit. Oh, that's a really sad amount of duck confit. <laughs> Look how big my egg is. I know, but you want to put it on top? Yeah, let's crumble yeah. it on top. We'll do something. That's for you, the people out here. 
This feels like an appropriately sized spoon. <laughs> okay, I'm only gonna use like big utensils too. I just want everything to feel like it's to scale except for me. I feel like, are you terrified to eat this? Because this of like all things, I feel like would really skew you. It's like, it's a little out there for me. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> so nasty. <laughs> Just a good like three tablespoons. Should we do tacos? Wait, should we make the world's largest tortilla? Yes, we should, do it. Yes, we should do it. We might try and make the world's largest tortilla so we can make a big ass breakfast taco. Because we have all this leftover salsa from when Rick was developing a taco story. But of course we didn't have a tortilla the size of an ostrich egg. So then I had to get Sola involved and she really stepped up to the plate. So I feel like the tortilla needs to be like about like this. Okay. Well, Do you have time for this today? We got a big time. <laughs> Sola. It seemed like the stars aligned and we just needed to have ostrich egg and duck carnitas tacos. How many cups of flour did you use total? You I just didn't. dumped out the rest of the container. Okay, so <laughs> one container. Small handful of baking soda, salt. Uh, and then how much lard? Did you use that whole lard? thing? Yeah, that feels good. Okay, trace this. All right. Okay, looks like a tortilla. I think we did it. Ah! Do these not fit in here? Barely. I was gonna say thinly sliced radish, but maybe it's like a turnip, so it's like a size. Do we have daikon? It seem like we have daikon in here. I think we just go with cilantro. <gasps> the yolk. We are going to pretend like this did not happen. Oh, look, Ready it's puffing. Wow, I'm very impressed. Oh, oh boy. I'm like obsessed with this thing. Okay, oh, we're good. Yeah, good color. Ah! This is definitely gonna be the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. Tomatillo avocado salsa. Oh, it's so smooth. Sprinkle some carnitas. Okay, go for that. All right. It's beautiful. Is it beautiful? <laughs> wow. It really looks like a breakfast taco. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. That wasn't the right way. <laughs> I think it's more like a pizza pie. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That's not bad. Tastes like a taco. It was yummy. Question mark? I feel like we fried an egg. This is gonna say poach an egg, scramble an egg, or make an omelet. Make an omelet. Oh man, what? Uh, there's some big egg energy going on. Oh, good one, Andy. Oh, how? Sorry, but I'm not making an omelet. I have a dream to scramble these eggs and serve them kind of like Jean Georges style out of the hollowed out ostrich egg topped with whipped cream and caviar. Well, now I'm making a Jean George egg. <laughs> I just totally derailed the entire day, didn't I? But that's kind of the joy of the show is like you just run with it. It's really something. Very old school. It gets served out of the shell. I'm gonna try and maintain the integrity of the shell, and so once the eggs are cooked, I'll spoon them back in. So. All right. Oh, there's something so nasty about that. See, look at all the reactions back there. There's something wrong with the size of this egg. Ugh. This membrane is like as thick as a Ziploc bag. I'm just rinsing it out so we don't have any yug inside. My little baby. Season these bad boys up. This bad boy. Typically in the John George, like custardy scrambled eggs, there's two tablespoons of butter for four eggs. So I'm gonna do a stick and a half of butter. Three quarters of it, melted just to kind of like help it get started and then I'll whisk in the last quarter of it to finish them. Okay, I'm gonna go get the heavy cream and find caviar. 
Do not give me that look just because you don't like my ostrich egg. <laughs> you dirty girl. Heavy cream and caviar. I knew from the beginning that <laughs> Emily was not into the ostrich egg vibe. Emily, will you eat my scrambled ostrich eggs with caviar? I was like, oh no, not that. So I'm gonna make the whipped cream. Oh, I don't need two whole cups of whipped cream. We're doing 12 tablespoons of butter total. Sorry, Andy. <laughs> Here we go. The whole point of this style of egg is small curd. So constant agitation, which is breaking up the even the possibility of a larger curd. Whisking cold butter in at the end is gonna kind of give it like this creamy, luscious kind of finish because it's almost like emulsifying it into the egg yolk. It's gonna be kind of hard to eat this. This is tricky business. Okay, I'm just gonna re-whip this a little because it fell. This is fun. That's so much better than an omelet, come on. Anybody want some caviar eggs? Or are we all just completely grossed out by this? And that is fine. People were kind of avoiding me. I think everyone was a little bit wary of the ostrich eggs. How do we eat this? I'm not too sure, I've never done this before. Okay. This is just unsweetened whipped cream, this is salmon roe, and then underneath are like super, super custardy, buttery eggs. Wow, what a treat. <laughs> are we going in? Yeah, let's go in. And Cheers. I was hungry. Cheers. Mm. Tasty. What's not to like? If this were on the table at Jean Georges, it would cost $1,080. But for you, it's free, Gabby. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really like it. Thanks. Great job. Great job. I feel like that's mission accomplished. Put this out for the people and see if anyone eats it. Nice work, Molly. Yeah. Emily, I made something special for you. <laughs> it was like she had seen a ghost. I mean, that was a little dramatic. We are all scared. <laughs> I can't wait for you. Someone decided to wrap it in a nice white linen, which was just lovely. Number six. Make eggs Benedict. Like one single muffin Benedict. Stop. Obviously, that's for poaching. Where would you normally find a muffin? Is there a big wow. English muffin in here? Did you guys make this? Okay, well, that was easy. I made my English muffin. If a standard hollandaise is two chicken egg yolks to two and a half sticks of butter, and I'm scaling up. The thing that was most nerve wracking about that was the volume of hollandaise sauce that I had to make. And um, I consulted the boys about it. Guys, I just need a quick consult. How are you gonna cut that crosswise? Thank you, Andy, I know how to cut crosswise. Christ. Okay, if you had to make, let's call it 24 egg yolk hollandaise, and we decided I only needed to make a half batch. You don't need that much hollandaise for that. Take off, honestly, like a quarter of the yolk. Like, we play this game all sketchy, the time. Come on. Sketchy, sketchy Quarter girl. of the yolk. Oh yeah, no, it's pretty much all in there. Boom, <laughs> right over the shoulder. And I'm gonna do it in a fucking blender. Yeah. I already have my technique, but I'll do it for you guys. I'm just trying to locate just the yolk. All right, this is mostly yolk. I'm not super worried about it. Does this usually get griddled? I feel like I'm just gonna warm this through in the oven while I toast the English muffins. Okay, these are going in to toast. Egg yolk going in. Three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. There's definitely a shell in there. 
It's fine. We'll just blend it up. Three and a half pounds clarified butter. Feels good, right? I still have that much more to go. <laughs> I think the math was wrong. It's already like quite Hollandaisy. Oh my god, it needs so much salt. It's like insane. I'm transferring this to a different bowl so that I can lower it in. Can I have someone's help, please? I need you to hold this up while I transfer something to it. The, and Just that, four ham steaks. No, no, no. I'm going to gently lower the poached egg onto it. We're going to need a bigger boat. Ah! Wow. <laughs> Here, let's drain it on some towels. All right, not the most appealing looking food but I've I'm ever seen. But I'm gonna slather it in Hollandaise. Yeah, so we're good. <laughs> I wonder if we should try and flip it. I feel like the other side's gonna look better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it is a poached egg. It looks like, um. Um, what does it look like? I, well? I don't know, it looks like an alien. Yeah. What came out of that pot after poaching it um, did not resemble a poached chicken egg. I made like 18 pounds of hollandaise because like we have to cover that up. <laughs> That's probably what, four sticks of butter right there? Yeah. Okay. Scallion. Cayenne. Oh yeah. That completes the look. That's what you're looking for. The thing about this is like, I'm terrified to eat it. Well, I think that I'm supposed to give you this. Oh, great, first. and then you're gonna eat it. <laughs> I'll eat the whole thing, yeah. <laughs> Brunch with buds. You're my bud. All my buds ran away from me last time I tried to serve We can egg. probably scrounge a couple up. Okay, let's scrounge some buds. Sola. Gab. It's like a little bit hard to ignore when someone is making eggs benedict that's this large. This is so sad, where are my friends? <laughs> Aw, my pumpkin. So I'm not surprised that ultimately everyone came to the brunch. It's kind of like roadkill in a way, like oh my God. you can't look away. Mm. It looks this strange. All right, I'm gonna eat a fat cocktail before I eat this. Yeah. So. All right, throw some cubes in your cup. Okay. Throw some cubes in your cup. Brunch with buds, i.e. Budweiser's? We should have got this sponsored. That was a mis Can we still? This bud's for Molly. <laughs> the pumpkins can be like Elijah over here for the <laughs> Okay, cheers right, everyone. Cheers. Thanks cheers. for having me. Cheers. Mm. Yes. It's a good mm. taste. Delightful. It's a delicious oh, taste in my mouth. Perfect okay. French cocktail. Whoa. Yeah. All right, you nailed it. A nicely cooked egg. That's, That's a, a actually good. a perfectly cooked yolk. We cracked into it and the yolk ran out, but that white. I don't ever want to see a poached ostrich egg white again. I call that a success. Oh, yeah. great. Whoa. Jump in here. Uh, uh, oh, that's no, no, not that size. Maybe that's not the size. Grapefruit and what else? Delicious. Grapefruit, pickle ginger, pickle ginger brine, black yeah, pepper salt. Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of a sloppy yeah. looking plate. It's okay if you It's for tasting purposes. Eat it. Mostly. <laughs> not only. Not only. I, mean, I feel like of all the ways to cook an ostrich egg, not poaching one. is not okay. the one. It's not the one. Wait, this was poached? <laughs> I don't know. think this was. Sola. Also, did you not see me standing on an apple box dropping <laughs> ostrich eggs into an enormous stock pot? I think just stirring it with a canoe paddle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you guys know that ostriches have three stomachs? They can sprint over 70 kilometers an hour. So like if one guy is like, let's go this way, then everyone else is like, here we go! And they just like charge, it's insane. There was like a pen of female ostriches. They basically got like humped by the males so aggressively that they all lost their back feathers. What? <laughs> they got like ravaged. God damn. It's a beautiful hollandaise. Thank you. Way to keep going. Thank you. Seriously. I mean, it's not. What a dream. Cheers, Molly. Thank it's you. over, right? Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. Yeah, I'm off eggs for a minute. I just need a break. It's fine. Do so you ever want to see an ostrich again? I'd hang out with an ostrich again.
the title holder of world's largest flower taco. Damn it! 1,654 <laughs> pounds. I think we're. This, yeah. this weighs like three pounds.